Bellator 205, live on Paramount Network, coming to you from CenturyLink Arena in Boise, Idaho. We kick off tonight's action-packed card with the lightweights as knockout artist Patricky Pitbull returns to the Bellator cage to take on Roger Huerta. What a great job Roger Huerta did in the first round. He won that round, but in the second round, he gets hit with that left hand. It hurts him. He really doesn't know where he's at. He's trying to hold on, and he ends up getting hit with a huge right hand that breaks his nose, crushes his nose, and it is all over at that point. But Tricky Pitbull has now gone to four wins in a row. He is a dominant lightweight fighter. I am sure he's going to get a championship match. Up next, it was Boise Zone. Vita Ortega and Denise Kielholtz. Man, you look at this. Denise Kielholtz, such a good kickboxer. So fast and accurate with her hands. But Vita Ortega comes in and just is gritty and grinding and standing in front of her, taking shots, putting herself in a position to try to win the fight. But in the end, it's Denise who ends up trying to take Vita down. She gets into a position, her neck's there. She gets into a guillotine. You see that elbow come up high. It is tight at that point, and she cannot get out from that guillotine. She pushes it over. It's tight. We get the tap. Great, great win for Vita Ortega. Just 15 minutes from her home. All right, we move ahead to tonight's co-main event featuring two of Bellator's best grapplers, best fighters, Rafael Lovato Jr., John Salter. John Salter came into this fight 5-0 being the submission master, but in going against Lovato Jr., he's going against the world's best in grappling. This guy is so good at what he does. He makes the mistake of letting Lovato on top of him. Lovato slowly and systematically gets to the point, gets the rear naked choke, gets the win, undefeated still. Lovato Jr. is a martial artist that everyone is going to have to be afraid to deal with. Speaking of undefeated, in tonight's Paramount Network main event, A.J. McKee looked to move to 12-0 as he took on John Macapa. And you look at what John Macapa has done in his career, never been stopped. Big <laughs> attempt at that kick by A.J., but in the scramble here, Macapa opens up and gets hit with a left hook that just puts him out. That was huge power, but that's what A.J. McKay, McKee brings. Look at that left hook. It completely puts Macapa out. He does not hit him again, shows great sportsmanship, and shows that he is absolutely someone that should be getting a title shot in the featherweight division. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com or the Bellator app.